breaking news this morning, a shooting happening overnight right outside of Southern's campus, and police tell us multiple people were shot and injured. Two Nets Callista Matrician is live at Southern with the very latest. Callista, good morning. So what's new? What are investigators telling you right now? Well, Brandy, JP, right behind me, the exact fraternity house Kappa Alpha Psi near Southern University where several people were shot. I'm going to step out of the frame so you can see the scene right now. They're still working to clean it up. A Southern University police officer directing travel through campus. Still looked a whole lot different here this morning. Guardrails knocked over, broken glass and trash surrounding the fraternity house. That and a whole line of BRPD officers along Harding Boulevard near the 600 block, which is where we are right now. Now, BRPD telling us that nine people were shot because of this shooting, they say that seven were transported to the hospital. Still, authorities tell us that they sustained non life threatening injuries as of right now. Now, police tell us that they're currently working to investigate what exactly led to the shooting. But as of right now, there hasn't been any IDs on any potential suspects. This is just what we know right now, but we're going to continue to keep you updated right here on WBRZ as we learn more. For now, we're live in Baton Rouge near Southern University. Callista Matrician, WBRZ News 2. Calista, what are authorities and campus officials telling you about how this could affect classes today and, you know, possibly homecoming this weekend? Well, JP, as of right now, we don't know exactly how this is going to affect the rest of the day or homecoming weekend, but we're going to continue to learn more. As I said, travel is moving by just fine. The scene has pretty much cleared up. There is an officer with Southern University out here right now directing travel through. Now, I did speak with someone from Southern University who says there will be an alumni tailgate at 11 a.m. So far, what we know is it's still going on. If anything changes and we learn more, we're going to keep you updated, but this is what we know right now. Uh, as I said, we'll have the latest right here on WBRZ.